Ever wondered why the Pacific Ocean, the largest and deepest of Earth's oceanic divisions, is largely empty and devoid of landmass? It's an enigma that has intrigued many over the years. Spanning over 63 million square miles, the Pacific Ocean is more than twice the size of the world's second largest ocean. Its depths plunge to an astounding seven miles at its deepest point, the Mariana Trench. This vast body of water alone makes up more than one-third of Earth's surface and is so big that it could effortlessly engulf all of the world's landmass. Yet, surprisingly, it is largely isolated from the world's major continents, with its closest neighbors thousands of miles away. This isolation and vastness are not mere coincidences, but rather the result of intriguing geographical phenomena. And this is where our journey begins, into the depths of the Pacific's mystery. Now let's delve into the geographical factors that contribute to the Pacific Ocean's emptiness. The emptiness of the Pacific Ocean can be attributed to a series of geographical reasons. The Pacific Ocean, vast and deep blue, is a marvel of the natural world. But have you ever wondered why this largest of the Earth's oceans is mostly devoid of land and continents? Firstly, let's talk about the Pacific Ocean's location in relation to the Earth's tectonic plates. The Earth's crust, as you may know, is made up of several huge pieces known as tectonic plates, which are constantly moving. Straddling the Ring of Fire, the Pacific Ocean is surrounded by a major tectonic plate boundary, where the Pacific Plate meets numerous other plates. This causes a lot of geological activity including earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The Pacific Plate is a particularly active one, constantly moving and shifting. Where it meets other plates, it often goes beneath them, a process known as subduction. This subduction creates deep ocean trenches and reduces the chances of land formation. In other words, the very processes that create land in other parts of the world make the Pacific Ocean an expansive body of water with very few islands. Furthermore, it's not just the ocean's tectonic activity that contributes to its emptiness. The Pacific Ocean's remoteness and harsh weather conditions make it a challenging place for human habitation. It's a long way from major population centers and its weather can be incredibly unpredictable, with typhoons and storms being common occurrences. The Pacific Ocean's vastness also means it has a significant influence on the Earth's climate. Its warm waters can create weather patterns that affect the entire planet, making it a key player in our planet's climate system. However, this can also contribute to its inhospitable nature, with extreme weather events being more likely in the vast expanse of the Pacific, so, these geographical factors are the reasons why the Pacific Ocean, despite being the largest ocean, is mostly empty. So, we've explored the geographical reasons behind the Pacific Ocean's vast emptiness. We delved into the location of tectonic plates and how their movement has limited land formation in the Pacific. We talked about subduction zones, those fascinating places where one tectonic plate sinks beneath another and how they contribute to the ocean's lack of land masses. We also touched on the remoteness of the Pacific and the harsh weather conditions that discourage human settlement. These factors contribute to the Pacific's reputation as a vast, almost alien world. But let's not forget, while the Pacific may seem empty to us, it's teeming with life beneath the waves. From the smallest plankton to the largest blue whale, this mighty ocean is home to a dazzling array of marine species. The Pacific Ocean's vast emptiness is a testament to the power and mystery of nature. It's a reminder of how much we still have to learn about our own planet.